my channel. So today's video is a grocery haul video and we actually went to three different stores today. It's a pretty big haul. I don't know, I just needed to stock up on some stuff. I am on vacation officially for an entire week. So I'm so excited. Maybe I just felt like spending a lot of money. <laughs> I don't know. But um, first thing I want to talk about is I'm so excited because we have changed our name for this channel. This channel is now called Mission Keto. And the funny story behind this is uh, when we first started Keto, or actually back in 2019, we had our Instagram page and it was strictly a Keto page and we were mission.keto on Instagram. And we just kind of let it fall by the wayside and didn't do anything with it. And then I got into my planner stuff and I changed it into hopeful planning. So I've decided now that this is, this is where I'm at with YouTube and everything, it is the keto stuff. So our mission is keto and we're going to do our best to you know, make the best recipes that we can, have them be keto, whether it be dirty keto or clean keto, whatever it is. Um, so I hope you like it. Um, we did, I hope you like our little thumbnail too. I'm very excited about that. That was all Andy. Yo. Andy had this vision completely from um, the Mission Impossible. There's a picture that we have of one of Tom Cruise's video or, or movies and we tried to kind of mimic that look. I'm, I'm not a model by any means, but it did turn out great. I must say, I love it. I hope you guys love it too. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so first we'll go over everything that I got at Kroger. Um, quite a bit of stuff. I got some aluminum foil. I did get some parchment paper. These are the pre-cut sheets, and it looks like Kroger's making their own now, so a little bit less expensive as the uh, name brand. I got a case of water. I did get this Essentia, Essen, Essentia water because I had 50 cents off on Ibotta. I did that last week too, and the deal was back again. Um, if you guys are not using Ibotta or Fetch Rewards or Receipt Pal to get money back for just scanning your receipts, definitely go down in the description box and get the codes to do that. Um, it's a game changer. It really is. I'm doing it right now. I usually save a little extra money for Christmas presents and stuff. It's just, it just helps. Um, I did get some bay leaves. I love the little glass containers that these are in. I want to try to, you know, take off the sticky stuff when I'm done and put like my homemade taco seasoning or things like that in it. Um, I got this. This looked really good. The Simple Truth Organic Sauces and uh, the whole brand is really good, but this looks like, um, a play on another hot sauce, and I can't think of the name of it right now. Oh my gosh, my brain. But this is zero carbs, and all the ingredients are clean and organic. So, so excited to try that. Um, I got some decaf coffee. That was a really good deal this week. Got Andy some of the fruit punch. These are we're hard, hard to find the fruit punch ones nowadays, so I cleaned out the last three that they had. Got some Mission Carb Balance um, four net carb uh, wraps. Got some mozzarella slices, two for seven, and we are doing taquitos one night this week. So if you have not seen that video, I will put it right there for you. Um, did get some bagels, not for me or Andy, but these were on clearance for a dollar and they looked good. Nothing was wrong with them. I'm going to stick them in the freezer and when the kids come up this week, they can have some bagels if they want. Um, got a big, huge block of the sharp cheddar cheese. Did get a couple of these kind of mug cakes, really love them. The keto friendly double chocolate cake mix and the birthday cake mix. Um, I am on vacation this week and I'm just planning on just chilling out, relaxing and maybe splurging a little bit. <laughs> um, did get a few things for a chicken no noodle soup that I'm gonna be making in the crock pot this week. Got this recipe from Crazy on Keto. She messaged me on Instagram because I was looking for some new ideas. So thank you girl, I can't wait to try it. But I got a small head of cabbage, onion, some carrots and some celery. Um, also got a um, avocado that was very inexpensive. They were like 49 cents. Got a couple of Quest bars. They were on the Ibotta app, so I'm going to get some money back on that. And I thought I'd try a couple that I hadn't tried before. Peanut butter brownie smash and cinnamon roll. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen the game-changing moment when you warm up your Quest Bar in the microwave. It totally changes the flavor. Everything about it is just like an indulgent dessert. It's so delicious. Um, these are our favorite protein bars. They didn't have the box of them today, so I had to get some singles, and they only have three of the singles left. So you guys have been watching my videos, haven't you? You've been taking all of the, the keto think protein bars. Just kidding. 
I did get a couple of the Lily's chocolate bars also. I like the salted almond. Andy likes the creamy milk chocolate. Got a can of pigeon peas. This is for arroz con gandules that I'm making keto style. I might make it for Thanksgiving just to have the rest of the family taste because they're not even going to know the difference with cauliflower rice. I'm telling you, it's delicious. I got a can or a jar of the Rayo's homemade pizza sauce. Um, they also had peanut butter cups for the lilies. I can't wait to try the Quest ones. I can't wait to get those. I can't find them anywhere. I thought I'd get a chocolate cake mix for the Swerve box, but I'm going to make um, cupcakes out of it. I also got the Keto Toaster waffle, Waffles, six net carbs each. I got these before, but I didn't get to try them. Um, Andy had them for breakfast a couple weeks, and I just, I don't eat a lot of breakfast usually when I work, but maybe when I'm off this week, I can, something else I can have. Um, I got a box of the Keto Sea Salt Caramel Bars, which those are delicious. Um, these are so good. Andy really loved them the last time. The Teton Waters Ranch 100% grass-fed beef. They are sea salt and black pepper, and it's got mushrooms mixed in too, and you don't even know it. Kind of pricey though. It was like eight bucks for four burgers, but hey, very happy about this find. They had all flavors of the Quest thin crust pizzas, but for some reason, the cheese ones were a closeout for $3.40. So I cleaned them out. They had three left, and I got them all. I haven't had the just plain one, but how bad can just plain cheese pizza be, right? So I got a couple of the uh, keto yogurts also, a couple of vanilla, a strawberry, and a black cherry. Those are really good. I love putting the Sola granola in it as well. I got a, uh, not a case, but a eight. This is a pack of eight cans of the LaCroix coconut. That's my favorite flavor of that. It is so delicious. They only had one 12 pack of the Coke Zero decaf or caffeine free brand. So I snagged that up. Um, they had a deal too for like four for 12. So I really would have enjoyed partaking in that, but we got to do caffeine free. And I did get some white claw because it is coming up on the holidays and mostly for the kids when they come up this week, I might have one, but do you guys, um, do alcohol on keto? Let me know. What's your thoughts? Um, no judgment here. Cause I do, <laughs> I don't have a problem with it, but, um, just curious what people's thoughts are on that. So next I'm going to show you what I got at Aldi's. All right, here's everything I got at the Aldi. Not as much, but I really got some good deals. I'm happy about. They do have the bread. This is by far my favorite bread so far on the keto, low-carb, dirty keto, whatever journey that we're on. Um, I'm so excited that I found an Aldi that has it. So the limit is four, so I get it every time, and I just throw them in the freezer, and we'll get them when we want them. Um, I also got some organ organic chicken broth um, for the no noodle chicken soup I'm going to be making. And this was very inexpensive. I wish I could remember how much it was, but very, very inexpensive. Um, also got some Italian sausage. I'm going to be making some sausage balls. Oh my gosh. I'm just sitting here leaning on that bread. Just smushing it up. Way to go, Hope. Um, wanted to try these. Um, this is the Cajun flavor. I've seen another video on it. Um, the cheese curds that they're so delicious. And the person I saw got it, and I can't remember her name right now. I'm so sorry, but it was um, a jalapeno flavor. I could not find that. I was bummed, but I thought the next best thing would be this Cajun. Pretty good ingredients, too. Um, it is one net carb per servings, 12 servings per container. Wow, so you're not getting much for a serving. But um, the ingredients aren't terrible. Milk, enzymes, blah, 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 blah. But look, I mean, it's seasonings and all of that. So kind of excited to try. I'm not very familiar with cheese curds, but if it has cheese in the title, I'm pretty good. Um, and I got some cheese wraps. Um, I was thinking about making, you know, honestly, the back of this said turkey and bacon club wraps, but I was thinking more like a BLT wrap. That sounds delicious. So I thought I would maybe partake in that. This was something new I found too. It's everything bagel dip, yogurt, Greek yogurt with sesame seeds, poppy seeds, garlic, and onion poppy seeds. Do you remember on Seinfeld when Elaine like had um, a drug test or something for a new job and because she had poppy seeds she <laughs> didn't get the job because it made a made our drug test come back positive. I don't know where I'm going with that but that just made me think of that. So total carbs is two and it's pretty decent ingredients as well, if you can see that. So I thought I would try that. That sounds good. And I think I have plenty of celery that I'm not going to be using all of that. Maybe that'd be a good, and the carrots, a good uh, 
dipping agent. Maybe I'll save it for Thanksgiving. Um, I got some heavy whipping cream. They only do the small containers, but it's $1.55, so really not that bad. Both of those together would be like $3.10. So, um, also got some bacon. It was like $2.50 a pack, so I got two of those. Look at how cute. Everything but the bagel seasoning in this cute little jar. I don't know. These just, I really, these are so cute. If I get enough of them up, I can redo my whole spice cabinet, right? <laughs> I got some ground cumin also. The organic, go get your organic spices at Aldi's because this was two something, two forty nine, two fifty nine. dollars <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so cute. I needed some cumin. Um, organic cage-free eggs. They've got them there. This was like two seventy nine. dollars great, great deal. This was exciting too. They have family pack of their grass-fed ground beef. A family pack. It came out, and it's the organic. It came out to like four seventy two dollars a pound. So great, great, great deal. I was just going to buy two separately, and they were five sixty nine dollars a pound. So it was definitely a great deal. When I saw that, I'm like, I'll always eat ground beef, right? This was in their little section of stuff that you don't really need, but then you feel like you do. But this was just a little tiny, like mini turner. And I like that it's rubber, so it won't hurt your metal pans. But I'm always finding that some of my spatulas are a little too big. And I have a metal one that I love from Pampered Chef, but I hate using it in the metal pan because it'll scratch it up. So I thought this would be great. And I think there's metal on the inside because it's very strong on the inside. So, well, that was a major description for this little thing but it was like a dollar 49 so really cute and i got some more paper plates the last time i went to sam's i accidentally got the smaller ones and we prefer the bigger ones so until i go to sam's this is what i'm getting and these work just as good as the dixie brand so that is everything i got at aldi's we are making one more stop to sprouts i will show you what we got when i get back okay so this is the final haul that i have for the day we went to sprouts and i haven't been there in a while and I was so excited and I always have to force myself to leave because it ju I just go crazy. I go crazy. But we got this water, these two jugs of water. Um, it's purified water enhanced with Himalayan minerals and electrolytes. And we thought we would try that because um, I feel like I'm low on electrolytes sometimes. I feel like I'm kind of dragging and just so exhausted and tired. Maybe it's because I'm working so much, but also could be electrolytes. So we thought we would try that. I am all into dirty keto and everything, but I don't really want to have the Gatorade Zeros and the Powerade Zeros a lot because they do still have a type of sugar in it. And if I'm going to do those replacement things like that with dirty keto, I'm going to pick and choose what I want it with. And I'd rather not have it with the Gatorade or the Powerade. So we'll try this, see if it's any good. Um, the Nut Pods Creamer, I love these. And this is a Swinna Swinnamon. Swinnamon swirl. Swinnamon. <laughs> a cinnamon swirl one. I wanted the ho holiday one that was out in red, but I could not find it. And there's zero carbs in it. Good ingredient. So very excited about trying this one. Miracle Noodle. I have not tried this yet. I was really hoping they would have the rice there, but they did not. But that's okay. But we usually get the shirataki noodles, but this is, um, I don't know if it's kind of the same type deal. But check this out. The ones that we normally get are about two net carbs each. This is one full carb. And then if you take away the two dietary fiber, it's essentially zero carbs. So, yeah, I just got one to make sure we would like it, which I'm pretty sure we would. But thought I would try it. And then Lily's, of course, I've been hearing that there's been different flavors out of the Lily's chocolate. And they're not at like your regular grocery stores, it seems like. So I did find they have the birthday cake. <clears throat> excuse me, and the cookies and cream. So we definitely had to try that. So excited about this. I almost didn't see it. We're walking down the aisle and I like, <gasps> and Andy thought like something major was happening or something because it just stopped. Everything stopped. But I love pumpkin spice bread. Anything pumpkin pie is my favorite. And I thought I would try the Lakanto pumpkin spice muffin and bread mix. I'm so excited to try it. It's essentially two net carbs per serving. You can make it into muffins or bread. These are the only other ingredients you need to make it, and I'm so excited. I'm planning on doing a meal prep video here soon, and I will probably include this. I'm gonna make it into a loaf of bread and then throw some butter on it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is by far my favorite item. I follow Chalk Zero. I love Chalk Zero. 
Um, you used to only be able to buy their stuff on their website. I won a contest from them once and I was able to try out a lot of things and I'm hooked. I love their stuff. They've got syrups, they've got, you know, bark, they've got chocolate chips, they have peanut butter cups. And just recently they posted that they are in every single Sprouts now. So I had to go to see if what they had there. And I didn't realize they have so many options. So they have the peanut butter cups. These are the milk chocolate ones. They're delicious. The best ones I've had so far. And then Keto Bark, they have a hazelnut one, which I have not tried yet. And what's nice is inside this bag is they're each individual little serving sizes wrapped. So you know you're only, you know, you're only getting one. One per one piece is a serving. It's individually wrapped, so there's six in each container. And then um, this one is milk chocolate with almonds. This one reminds me of a good bar so much. And a good bar is like Mr. Good Bar was my favorite chocolate bar. Um, I know it's almonds, but it's still so delicious. They do have a milk chocolate with peanuts too, but I haven't tried it yet. I can only imagine how much more of a good, like a good bar it would taste. But so I think there's six in here also. Yes. Yeah, so just, it's perfect. It's delicious. I'm so excited. So I'm so happy for them too, that they're in a, a chain store now. So the very last thing that I got was the Topo Chico, a 12 pack. These were $9.99 today, which is a really good deal. I got the Twist of Grapefruit Flavor. I do love these. I splurge on them every now and then. They're the only place, Sprouts is the only place that has them in the case like that. I can get like a four pack at Kroger, but why bother getting four? I want 12. So that is everything I got in the entire grocery haul. I really hope you like this video. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you are subscribed and tell me what you think of my new logo, our new name. I'm so excited about it. I hope you guys like it and I will see you on the next one. Bye.